this is the, the Super Bowl of farm shows, and uh, obviously right, be right here in the Mecca and uh, Decatur, Illinois, and uh, be able to see all that. First, I just love big toys, and uh, and really the technology and agriculture is absolutely amazing today. To see what these machines are going to be capable of doing is fascinating. As a farm boy and agribusiness, uh, I can't imagine many places I'd rather be than right here. Well, the president understands very clearly that uh, NAFTA has been beneficial to agriculture. The challenge is he's looking at the trade deficit that's occurred after NAFTA was done, primarily in autos and auto parts. How do you reconcile those two? I talked to him this morning, actually, and he's, he's concerned about American agriculture, but he's also concerned about the overall economy, and that's automobile, auto parts manufacturing, and we hope we can find a solution uh, that reconciles both of those and resolves those issues. We're always at the tip of the spear in retaliatory or collateral damage dealing with trade uh, trade discussions. So that uh, is a risk, that's a threat. We've communicated that to him, he understands that. And uh, I'm hoping that his conversations now publicly or negotiation strategies to make sure that tech, uh, Mexico and Canada understand the U.S. is serious about fair trade deals across the economy for all three countries. Well, again, the Farm Bill made a lot of progress. There are a few sectors that didn't fare as well. Dairy was one. We see that uh, in Wisconsin and other places in the, in the upper Midwest. Uh, cotton is another. And uh, uh, the tax program, the insurance program in cotton did very well. They came out of Title I, which was in, that, in the farm program. And I think those are two areas we'll have to look at. Specialty crops and organic is another thing that's growing sector that we will probably have to pay more attention to that. But mostly uh, uh, farmers want good trade programs. They want us to be able to sell what we can. They want us to relieve these trade barriers that we're working on. Beef in China, rice in China, uh, poultry back in, uh, in South Korea, pork in Argentina. That's what they, they can grow it. My goal is to sell it around the world. That's why we put in the Undersecretary of Trade. I'm a facts-based, data-driven decision maker. I'm not intuitive or smart enough to make decisions without the right facts and right data. And that's what we'll be looking at. That will guide us in our policy-making decisions. Yes, I hope you can expect more. We've, got, we've uh, presented great uh, candidates, nominations to the White House. We believe that we'll have a couple more, at least two more, coming out uh, uh, after they get back from Labor Day. And then we've got uh, of the forestry uh, coming and food safety coming and we've got we've identified great people from that they're being vetted right now and hopefully we'll have that certainly i'm hoping that congress the senate can move on the ones that are before them uh, very quickly when they get back our deputy secretary a nominee steve sinski uh, has been the president of the american soybean association will be a great help and uh, we've got two others identified and, and nominated that we would like to get on the board as quickly as possible so far, I am the only Senate-confirmed uh, appointment in the USDA with over 100,000 people. I need some help and hope we get it sooner rather than later.